Allen Career Institute announces special leader course for JEE main and advanced classes from 15th April. For more detail, log on to allen.ac.in. Question number 17. This particular problem, if we go it by normal method that is calculating the given scenario, it will take quite a lot of time. But if we look at the options, we will find that only one of the uh, that only one of the options is having the correct dimensions of the required quantity that is the frequency. And if we do the dimensional analysis, we can we can find out that that particular is option is 3. As you can see, option 3 is 1 by 2 pi a square gamma p naught by m v naught. Now, under root. Now, if we check the dimensions, we can see under root of area square. Area is L2, so it becomes L4. Gamma is dimensionless. Pressure is m1. L minus 1, P minus 2, M is mass and V naught is the volume that is L Q. And it is very easy to see that the dimensions of this quantity is going to be T minus 1 which is the dimension of frequency and this is the only option which has the dimension of frequency. So correct answer is option number 3. Number 80. Question number 18 is direct theory you may have read there is something called Newton's law of cooling which gives the formula for variation of temperature as T surround T S plus T H minus T S into E S to power minus K T. So this is how temperature of a body varies when it cools down. So there is only one possibility for this particular variation of temperature with time where temperature varies like this. So the option number 3 is the only graph which satisfies the equation of cooling. In question number 19, the statement that is made, that the first statement, higher the range, greater is the resistance of a meter, that statement itself is wrong. That statement itself is wrong because when you increase the, when you need to increase the range of a meter, you can recall that you join a shunt in the parallel. By joining shunt in the parallel, you are actually decreasing the resistance. So the statement one is false. So the correct option will be 4. Question number 20. Question number 20 has got a battery, a resistor, a capacitor and surprisingly enough an inductor also. But if you read the question properly it says that the switch S2 is kept open and S1 is closed. So if you close the S1, this is what happens and if you keep S2 as open, this is what happens. So inductor itself is not involved in this problem at all. It is a simple RC circuit problem in which we know that the charge varies as Cv into 1 minus E raised to power minus T divided by tau. And the time when becomes 2 tau, if we put t is equal to t tau, 2 tau, we know that the option number 3 will be the correct answer. 